Uh, that, you know, this has been the biggest year for this facility. You've had all of the major race series in the U.S. pretty much roll through this place at this point. Right. The, this U.S. Pro Kart Series, the Scusa Pro Tour, uh, the Stars Championship Series. It, I'm sure, first and foremost, it's probably going to feel like a breath of fresh air that you're through the, the madness of the summer. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we'll, get, we'll get good rest next week. We've got a Pro-Am next uh, Sunday. So after next Sunday, we might, you know, go into a coma or something. But... Uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic run for sure. Now, uh, when I had Tim Coyne up here earlier uh, in the weekend, folks, on ye uh, yesterday, he broke some news for the U.S. Pro Kart Series about their schedule for next year. They're going to Daytona to kick things off four weekends instead of five and going to have three races out of the four with a drop round coming back for the championship. You, Sean, you also have some new news uh, that we can, uh, we can show a little bit of uh, the graphics of what's going to happen here uh, at the MCC Cartplex in 2025. Yeah, when you, you, know, you design something on paper, you think it works well, but in, in uh, you know, practice, sometimes it doesn't always work out that way, uh, especially with this new tire. Um, and there's some other areas of the, the facility that cause problems during the weekend and stuff. So uh, Greg and I have got together. Greg Heeman, you know, my partner in the track here, we've got together and uh, want to address a few of the issues up front. We're going to add some parking. Uh, but primarily, we want to unclog the grid. Um, the pre-grid gets kind of busy there. It gets the scale lane, uh, you know, pretty crowded down there. So we're going to move the grid uh, over basically where TKG's 10 is, so we're going to move it over about 40 foot. The luxury of that is uh, it gives us another 40 foot of runoff in turn number one, so that's going to allow uh, some little more runoff. This year we've had uh, you know quite a few little incidences there uh, with this new tire and the marbles and stuff, so it's going to give us a, a good, good bit of runoff there, and uh, hopefully it, it eliminates some of the issues. You know, there's some ramblings that, you know, the, the place needs a little more runoff there. So Greg and I hear it. Uh, we always take that and we want to, you know, get it fixed. So we're, November 1st, as soon as our closing day is, we're going to get the bulldozer in and get rid of the, the current uh, grid and, and make this place a little bit, you know, better to race. We, didn't, we were t talking about, you know, changing the track itself, but the place races so well. The racing's phenomenal. So we didn't want to do that. And, but we also want people to come back, and so that's our plan. Um, you know, with the turn one wall extended back 40 foot and the new grid, that's going to help the flow for it. We're going to move the food trucks a little bit closer to the to the paddock, and you know, make stuff you know a lot better. Also, up front, when you know leaving the place, it, it's a one lane road, and it kind of clogs up there too. So we've got about a $250,000 investment that we're going to put in, in the facility and make the place even a little better. Well, let's, uh, we've got our camera still up over at turn number one. We've been able to show all of you, as Sean's been explaining, uh, all of the uh, improvements that will be uh, headed our way. We'll get our turn one cam. So here, Sean, we've, we've shown the, the digital renderings. Now let's take a look at what we've got and uh, explaining you know, what the change will be. We've got the grid where it is right now, and that all the way to the right side fence here where the parking lines start. That's going to be the new... Uh, all grass runoff area, correct? Correct. To this line of fence line here, that's going to be the new fence line for the racetrack. So you can see it's considerable distance away from turn one there. We're also going to um, extend the curb and flatten that out. It looks like that kind of hooks some people and causes some spin. So we're going to we're going to revamp the curbing a little bit, but this will be your entire runoff here. Um, so it should help. Uh, you know, quite a bit on, on that side of things. And then, like you said, this is a, a massive $250,000 projected uh, expansion and uh, kind of re, uh, refurbishment, re, uh, you know, purposement of some of the facility here. You've got the runoff going to that fence. Then, like, uh, as the camera shows where the TKG tents are, that'll become the grid uh, for yeah, 2025. Yeah, so there will be a, an additional, uh, basically right, right through the middle of the tent there, that'll be a new wall there, and then we'll move over to the, to the south and then... Uh, it, it should give a, a better flow out of pre-grid into grid, get some congestion out of the scale house and, and go there. You know, So I think it's really going to improve the facility and the flow of things and keep things on time and, and run a, bit, you know, a better show. Also, the safety side of it, too. You know, get, get some runoff in turn one, um, you know, more like the distance that Newcastle has. Well, it's been fun to watch the pro uh, progress of this facility for us coming here over the last couple of years, uh, Sean. You guys have done a great job. And, uh, again, while you're up here and while you're on the air, uh, a huge thank you to you, to Michelle, your wife, to, to your boys as well, and your entire hardworking crew that makes this facility work. I mean, it, it's, it's just been 
a pleasure to, to get to be a, a witness to what you guys have done with this place over a short amount of time. Yeah, and I got to thank all the series that want to come here. Um, you know, that it, it's great to have them. It's great for the community. The, you know, the economic impact for Claremont County is pretty big. So um, we're, we're excited. Hopefully, uh, you know, we don't have anything pinned down, some, some talks, but uh, we hope everyone comes back next year. Well, Sean, thanks for the time here. Yeah, we'll let you get you. back. I can only imagine the workload's still continuing tonight all around. So. Yeah, tomorrow gets uh, really busy with all the garbage. So. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. Please make sure to keep your pit areas clean. That's Sean Bailiff here from the Motorsports Country Club of Cincinnati.